Hello, my lovely Virgos. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do a quick what's in your energy spread for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very important to remember, my loves, this will not resonate with all Virgos out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it is not your story, it is simply, simply not your story. Please, please, please do not force it, as I tend to go into a lot of deeper things here on this channel, such as healing generational curses and childhood trauma. My loves, hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. I am using my unknown tarot deck. Uh, tarot deck of the unknown or something like that one of my subscribers gave this to me a long time ago when i first started out um i, I think his name was unknown i'm not sure but uh, cutting the deck at the queen of swords and the knight of cups let's see what we got going on virgos this is your energy this is your surrounding this is the mutual most likely outcome or what's to come Virgos, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Be sure to check out my website, Luna Jade Botanica. You can purchase my candles, book a reading, book a birth chart, book your seat or spot to the Learn to Read Tarot course that I have just launched, soul portraits, all that good stuff. Thank y'all to who uh, ordered my, my roll-on oils. Oh my god, I made some today and they smell delicious. So, let's see what we got going on, Virgos. So as I was meditating on this reading, I heard how horrible it is to live with no air. How horrible it is to live with no air. Ooh, chills again. Um, and the way I interpret that, my loves, without even looking at the cards or seeing today's message is, I can see it two ways. How horrible it is to live without being able to speak up for yourself or how horrible it is to live with no communication skills or ways to express yourself or not knowing how. That's what I took from that situation, okay? So let's see what we got going on. I just heard I can't have him. Ooh, I can't have him even if I wanted to try. I can't have him even if I wanted to try. Ooh, I just heard all this was to blow your mind. All this was to blow your mind. Let's start in your energy, loves. Even though this one is a little bit more fiery, over here in your energy, you have... What is this? The Hierophant. I just heard the missing key to the castle. The Hierophant. Yeah, I can't see this deck. I'm wearing my glasses today. Alchemist. I just heard Sagittarius. This is the um, Temperance. So you have the Hierophant, the Temperance, Nine of Coins, Virgo Energy, and the Seven of Wands. Again, there's a lot of messages about what's similar, what has been similarly uh, popping out for the past two weeks, Virgo. Removing, ooh, I just heard, ooh, collateral damage. Removing collateral damage. Detrimental is what I'm hearing, detrimental. I just heard, why would you want to do that? And then I also heard, why would you want to be that wise? I feel like there's an ancestor loves who's kind of <sighs> jealous. Whoever started a familial curse or ancestry curse in your family line, there's their soul is kind of like looking over, kind of like, oh, I just heard tarnished brand, tarnished brand. Their soul is kind of like, 
why did you break these curses? Someone had a very... I should do a podcast episode on this because I have a theory on how this works, how everybody embodies some sort of archetype from Greek mythology. Someone is always Zeus, someone is always Athena, Aphrodite, but someone always embodies Hades, right? And Hades wants to let everything burn um, because he was scorned. And that's what I feel. There's a scorned spirit that has been watching over you just kind of in the background. I don't see them like harming any sort of, you know, path or, or anything that you're on or next endeavor, but they're just kind of watching a little bit scorned or a little bit like, like I said, like celos, like, like jealous. With the Hierophant Taurus energy and the Temperance, both in reverse, Taurus and Sagittarius energy, I do feel like there has been sort of like a stepping down or a separation. I feel like moving out or like someone's really like, dang, like the deadbolts are changed. You know what I mean? Like there's no going back. Again, there's no going back to a certain curse or a certain uh, mindset or a certain cycle there's really no going back I swallowed the key I threw away the key like can't nobody come back to the same it's like the next time you enter into your home it's going to look completely different or something there's something about a very very big change of scenery a very big change in your surroundings with the Hierophant, it talks about removing yourself down a level or removing yourself from a situation, a divorce, a separation, distance, uh, resigning from a job. And with the temperance in reverse, weird, I just heard, I can hear you all alone. I can hear you all alone. The temperance in reverse is, oh, I just heard stubborn, stubborn, but the temperance in reverse also means um, like distraught, not at peace, not feeling serene, not feeling like you are um, living the dream. And that's the reason why you had to distance yourself or quite literally move or change jobs, change locations, uh, remove yourself from a situation or a relationship. But also I see yourself breaking off the family bloodline, like breaking off the name for those of you that resonate with breaking curses. Um, I feel like I'm being watched right now. I feel like I'm obviously I'm being recorded, but I feel like I'm being recorded and I feel like I'm being watched right now. I feel like somebody's soul is talking to me. Like I just heard there's a lot of distance between us. There's a lot of distance between us. and we can't go back. There's a lot of distance between us and we can't go back. How can we make it right? Now I'm hearing the right brothers. Ooh, I don't know what's going on. I feel like somebody's crying. I feel like my eyes tearing up. I feel like somebody getting emotional. I don't know. Somebody's soul is trying to like talk to me big time. Um, Again, how how am I supposed to breathe with no... Remember that song by Jordan Sparks? How am I going to breathe with no air? How am I going to breathe with no air? I keep hearing that song. I'm hearing Jeremy Jones. I'm hearing Jeffrey... I'm hearing, I'm even hearing Jojo Siwa. I don't know why. There's something very significant about that song. How am I supposed to breathe with no air? Someone also like is devastated and wants to talk to you for some reason, Virgo.
my head is like brrr, like I don't know like I feel like there's just so many downloads coming in at once and I've been re doing reads every day so I don't know why with the nine of coins here this is Virgo energy oh is today the Kazemi is today the day, the day that all the planets line up in Gemini I don't remember I don't remember if it's tonight or tomorrow I'll have to look it up but with the nine of coins here my loves this is Virgo energy this is feeling abundant this is I feel like you're just getting a lot of attention right now I feel like there's some sort of spotlight being shown on you again I feel like you're getting a lot of attention I feel like there's a lot of things happening I feel like there's a lot of secrets I don't know why I'm saying that there's a lot of secrets I just heard a secret surprise. I'm hearing like all eyes on you, Virgo. This is going to be like a mysterious reading. I even got my Egyptian deck to do an ancestor reading after this because I, I just was called to it. I feel like there's like a secret surprise. So stay tuned for that angel ancestor message. But a secret surprise. All eyes on you. I feel like there's a lot of energy surrounding you, but a very, very beautiful energy, very potent energy. I feel like everybody's like getting together to celebrate, getting together to uh, like just look at you, praise you, look at this next journey, look at this next chapter. Like there's something very significant going on where there's all eyes on you. Like I feel like everybody's like it's weird like like I'm seeing like a concert but not so much a concert like I'm seeing someone just living their life and everybody watching not in a creepy way like the Truman show right but in a very much so um, what is Virgo gonna do now what is Virgo gonna do next I'm seeing Spongebob when he's like smitten you know and his eyes get really big and watery and his cheeks get rosy it's a smitten type of energy but you're just like living day by day you don't know what's going on look at all bets are off all boundaries are off all the gates are open all the doors are open the seven of wands talks about no more fighting for it like some something happened where it's like I come in peace I come in peace. Would you like to see my treasure? I just heard. Would you like to see my treasure? Somebody's like uh, kidneys are really hurting or liver or something. Just take care of your gut lately, loves, because I'm, I'm just getting like, oh, like a stiff feeling right now. I'm hearing that song, How Do I Live? Who is it by? Whitney? Whitney Houston? The one, how do I live without you? I want to know, you know? Um, how do I breathe without you? Is it? No, it's Leanne Rhymes. Again, we've had Leanne Rhymes twice. How do I breathe without you if you ever go? There's a very strong, significant... Someone might be having an anxiety attack or a panic attack or coming to terms with with uh, a distancing of you and this person and you are, they're like hyperventilating. I can't breathe. I feel somebody crying so hard and I don't know why or what it is or who it is. I can't make out. I'm just seeing somebody like, you know, when you like dry heave, like, <gasps> you know, like, um, somebody's crying that they're running out of air like literally like they're crying so hard when you're just like I don't know how to explain it loves like just like the <laughs> you know all bets are off someone's soul is weeping because they didn't make the cut I feel like someone's soul is going into like an empty home 
and it's just empty. You're not there, Virgo. Your soul moved on to the next frequency. I feel like somebody's soul is so hurt and devastated. That's how I feel. How how awful it is to breathe with no air. Almost like somebody feels like they didn't get a chance to tell you something. They didn't get a chance to say goodbye. They didn't get a chance to like explain or say their peace. But Virgos, once you cut someone off, that's that. That's how you are. When when a Virgo's done, they're completely done. And it takes time to get there. I feel like you're a brand new, I guess, celebrity in a sense, in a new environment where they've never seen someone like you, Virgo. You're brand new to a, a, a destination, to a frequency, to a level. So everyone, all eyes on you, like, I haven't seen you around. What do you do? You know, and you're so wonderful that everyone's just smitten. Everyone's intrigued. Everybody is going to be enamored. I just heard newfound fame. Ooh, Virgo. Newfound fame. Some of you might meet a professional athlete very soon. Some of you might even get with someone who is very well-known or famous. And that's why it's like, I've never seen you around. Who are you with, you know? I'm getting baseball. Like, there's something about a baseball player. I just keep hearing the Leanne rhymes in the back of my head. I feel strongly there is a very, very big love interest, if not several love interests coming towards you, Virgo, if they haven't already. I'm hearing like somebody's about to blow up. Someone's about to go viral or like blow up like in a sense of recognition. I just heard how did Virgo do that? How did Virgo do that? I, just, I heard how did you do that? You showed some sort of resilience. You were showing some sort of resilience here where you were, I guess, showing the divine. I deserve what's next. I deserve this. And they're going to deliver. Weird. I just heard put some hot sauce on my... I'm hearing like from Friday, like from next Friday, <laughs> where he's saying put some hot sauce on my burrito. I just feel like a very carefree energy. Like, I mean, I'm seeing um, when Selena, in the movie Selena, where she's sitting, you know, on the river walk in San Antonio... And she says, I could fly if I want to. Like, I am fine. We're here happy. Some of you might actually find your spouse very soon. I feel that strongly. Some of you may also find your spouse. Ooh, Virgo. Over here in the surrounding energy, my loves, I can't see. Five of swords in reverse. Eight of cups in reverse. Oh, I just heard baby come back. <laughs> Queen of Wands in reverse and the Two of Wands. Why do I feel like you're going to be stuck in a decision or put in a very uncomfortable position or choice? Like a like a, a fork in the road or quite literally having to choose between two different suitors or people or options or jobs or locations. Someone's coming back, for sure, with the five of wands here. Someone or something. I'm even getting, it's like a past employer, like, please, I need your help. <laughs> you know, like, 
let's let's like I still don't like I don't know why I'm getting like there's bad blood between you and a past employer um, and this might be from like seven eight years ago I'm feeling yeah five to six to seven eight nine years ago someone might be like I need your help you know like we don't gotta be friends but I need help <laughs> the five of swords yeah it's like I'm putting my I'm not thinking about me right now. I need someone that knows what they're doing. I feel that strongly. It's an employer, an empl a past employer or a past position or a past. Um, I, I, I don't feel like this is it could be a relationship for sure, for sure. But I feel strongly like it is someone who needs some of your expertise, some of your guidance, some of your services. I need your help. This could this could be a number of things. I'm seeing quite a few things. I'm seeing the letter J and I'm seeing L, I'm seeing T and I'm seeing X. I'm also seeing I. I just heard I came, I saw, I conquered. I came, I saw, I conquered. Some of you know you're like a badass at whatever it is you do. And I think other people know that as well. Someone who was like real shady in the past is going to come back like, hey, like you can see both my hands. My hands are clean. Like, can you please help me? I also feel strongly like if this is resonating as a relationship, it's like, I'm not coming to you as the same person. Like, look how much I'm, I, I've done, like a 180, you know? I've changed, I'm done. Uh, this is really weird. I'm seeing like a, a turkey, like a weird turkey, but like with a sweater on. <laughs> it's very strange to me. I'm also seeing someone with missing fingers or something like that, or like tiny fingers. Ew, this might be an X for sure. I'm getting like an X from like 2012 maybe. Nope, don't do it. Don't do it, loves. Don't do it. Don't do it. There's something bad about this person's soul. If it's an ex, okay? And I'm not talking like your most recent ex. I'm thinking this is like a like a high school sweetheart or like a mid-teen, late teen, early 20s ex. I heard Jeremiah... There's something about them needing, like they may have like been users in the past. And I think they're still kind of like that. Okay. There's something still deceitful about this energy. Upright, this is someone who has ulterior motives, who's um, shysty in a sense, like who has, um, who's selfish, who only looks out for themselves, who's hiding things behind their back or talking crap behind your back. And when it's in reverse... Look, 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 look. I'm not like that no more. But look at this. The Eight of Cups in reverse. They haven't really changed their ways. They're still stuck in their ways. All right, they're comfortable with who they are. The Eight of Cups in reverse. They're comfortable with the way they run things. If this is an employer. But if this is a recent ex. I heard Ray. I heard Luxurious and I heard Ray. I'm also seeing like, uh, what is that hotel in Vegas? I'm hearing Luxembourg, but I'm also, what's the one with the pyramid? What's the hotel with the pyramid? I don't remember where Chris Angel used to perform. I think it starts with an L. It's not the Lynx, the Luxor. That's what I'm hearing, the Luxor.
Someone is love sore for some reason. I'm hearing that love sore. I'm seeing like a little rabbit. Like it's weird though. It's like a rabbit that's like tall, like a tall rabbit. I'm hearing frosty. Ooh, someone could be uh, going through some like withdrawal or some addictions. The eight of cups is like, there's not a lot that's changed with this person, even if they come back and say that they have, okay? Perhaps they wanna see if you've changed as a person as well with the queen of wands in reverse. Is Virgo still? Weird. I just heard, is Virgo still frightened? I'm seeing the Wu-Tang logo. Y'all know I'm like a Wu-Tang head. It's almost like, is Virgo still the same person from when I used to know them, when I used to talk to them, when I used to date them? Is Virgo the same person? Someone please, pl y'all, yeah, please take care of your kidneys, my loves. Your kidneys and your liver, please take care of that. Perhaps somebody's sick and that's why they want to come back. Somebody is having like health problems and they want to come back. I just heard you're not going to know they're sick. You're not going to know they're sick. Something internally, I feel like somebody's like not taking care of their, their liver, their kidneys, or their gut. I'm getting even like aorta, like aorta issues. The queen of wands is someone who can be overly defensive or someone who just wants to date. They don't want to settle down. They just kind of want to date. They have their people that come in and out and that's it. Like nothing serious. Perhaps it's like they're trying to see like, does Virgo still, is Virgo looking for something real now? Or perhaps it's like, does Virgo still do what they do work-wise? You know, can they, st do they still got it? There's something that like, there's something or someone that's coming back to be like, I need help, but I'm wondering how Virgo is these days, what they're up to. Do they still do this? Will they even help me? You're going to be in a position where it's like, do I help you or do I don't? You know, do I don't? Do I not? <laughs> do I do or do I don't? <laughs> a wands, two of wands is a decision. But wands are feelings. You're going to make this decision based on how you feel, okay? But when it's in reverse like that, you're going to make what's whatever is best for you. For some reason, I'm getting strong, like releasing past resentments. Like this is going to see if you're really over a situation do you are you setting up boundaries do you have a good heart like it, it's really going to vary for most of you some of you have a a very big heart and you're going to want to help this person but a lot of you are going to feel like no i'm not going to help them at all i feel like there's two situations i feel like there's a person and a situation coming at all of y'all virgos like, I think you're going to help one and not help the other. And that's going to, oh, I just heard that's the final chapter. That's the missing link. That's, that's the final piece of the puzzle. Like, I'm not helping you anymore. I'm not helping this situation anymore. But there is a certain situation where you're like, I'm grown. I'm going to put this past me. I'll, I'll lend a helping hand. There's two situations, possibly a work situation and possibly an ex or a person situation, okay, that are coming back. There's two. There's definitely two things that are coming. Strange. And the mutual energy, 10, what is this? Y'all, I can't see. Oh, the wheel of fortune. In reverse, Sagittarius energy. And the five of wands in reverse. It's like, I, I, I'm hearing you can't pass go until you, 
you can't pass go until you sign the treaty or something. That's what I'm hearing. You can't move on without either conquering a situation or letting it conquer you, but it has to be resolved. Like you can't turn in your test without the missing row, you know what I mean? Or the last two missing pieces. Or the last two missing questions, whatever it is. There's a lot of Sag energy that's been popping up, Liz. And I feel like I'm hearing like, let's go back in time. Like I'm hearing it kind of weird. Like y'all remember that show on VH1, Real Chance of Love with the two brothers, but one of the brothers has passed now. He passed away from colon cancer. Strange. Um, but there was this one episode where he says, it seems like you went back in time. And he said it, I'm hearing it in his voice. It's like the last of, I feel like this is like a board exam or something. Like you're going through pages. Like, did I miss any questions? Did I miss any answers? Did I leave anything blank? That's what this is, loves. The wheel of fortune in reverse. A little moment of pause. A little moment before you actually turn in the final exam, the final draft, the final uh, book to be published, right? This is the proofread. You're at the moment of the proofread. I just heard, how does this end? How is this going to end? I have like a huge smile and <laughs> I don't know why. The Wheel of Fortune and Sag Energy, it's almost like there's no forward movement at the moment. This is a pause, quite literally in time. And the Five of Wands is here. Because you don't want to move forward with any sort of conflicting energies, right? Upright, this is conflict, this is pettiness, this is drama, this is arguments back and forth, inconsistency, gossip. I'm seeing a funny face, like a funny little dog face. I don't know why. There's definitely someone that has ill feelings towards you, but I feel like they're far away. I don't feel like they're even in your same state or same city, Virgo. I just heard still, like someone still feels that way. <laughs> Weird. But with the five of wands in reverse, it's like we have to take a moment and we have to sign this treaty, this truce, this, let's get you out of this conflicting energy before you turn in that final paper. Underneath the deck, my loves, the knight of cups. I just heard rolling on the river. <laughs> I feel like you're just drifting. You're not. I feel like you're, like you're in that moment where it's like, I'm just, I'm chilling. I'm waiting. I'm relaxing. I'm just rolling on the river. I feel strongly loves like you are just taking it day by day. You're trying to have a positive attitude, positive mindset. Ooh, I, I heard that saying, like, what comes will come and what leaves, let them leave. I'm just chilling. I feel like there's a brand new, like, um, even like a mood come over you, like, not scornful, not overly excited, not nothing, just very much so, like, I'm here, I'm present, just uh, exactly like that song, just like a very zen, like, rolling on the river virgos you're about to know who or what this is very soon look at the the moon in reverse cancer or pisces energy we have a new moon on the sixth okay thursday so and it's in gemini <coughs> gemini is communication Someone's going to reach out for sure. I do feel that. If this message is resonating, <clears throat> my loves, let me know in the comments below. 
If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. So let's see what we got going on. Well, they all flew out like crazy. Look, <laughs> they flew out like like one here, one in the middle, and one right over here. Always. Y'all know when I made this is my personal deck. You could purchase this deck on my Etsy. Um, when I made this card, loves. I don't know why I I made this. I just was I guess guided to put it as one of the cards but I always think about Snape on Harry Potter always and I feel strongly like this is like there's always been you've always been a favored soul always you know how sna how i said there's a there's a spirit that's kind of scorned that you're breaking the curses they created you know every person um every bloodline has a person that takes after the archetype i won't say the full word but i'll say lucy right l-u-c-i you know um And I feel like, you know how Snape was an undercover good guy? Um, <laughs> for all my Harry Potter nerds like me. Um, I feel like Virgos, y'all are earth angels, right? A lot of you are the black sheep of the family. But your soul has always been favored for some reason. Which is why now, like I said, they're going to deliver. The divine is going to deliver. I feel like there's a soul also that is finally at rest and finally at peace. Have, is there, this might be touchy trigger warning, but if there was someone who was murdered in your family, there's some sort of like smile happening and I have the chills everywhere. A smile, a, like not a big one, just a small smirk like I'm at peace. Ooh, chills. Let's see what's in the mutual. Protection. This is a little... <laughs> you're protecting yourself, Virgo, right? Proofreading what you're about to turn in. Ooh, for some of you, it's like you're proofreading what I want, what the next chapter is going to be like. They're proofreading your, your guides, your angels, the divine, whoever it is you believe in the higher power. They're proofreading your next timeline. That's why things might feel stagnant because they're removing the conflict. It's for your protection right no one wants the villain to return in the sequel or in the next movie right you're supposed to kill him in number one and that's what this is it's removing the bad guys it's removing the bad energies and i'm thinking about scream as i'm talking about this because that's one of that's my favorite movie <laughs> aside from harry potter over here in this surrounding malicious or ill intentions the person or situation that is coming back to see if you're going to help or assist either is still with ulterior motives or they did you dirty at some point in time or they did you wrong at some point in time i'm also hearing time thieves okay time thieves i feel some of you this is a um i almost said relationship but i meant to say employer an employer relationship Someone like uses you for your work also. I heard Hannah. Hannah? I'm seeing someone with a blonde ponytail. Ooh, someone's messing up at work is what I feel. And the higher ups don't like it. Or the higher ups are noticing nobody knows what they're doing or something. Ooh, yeah, something. Yeah, that's what that is. Ooh, look at that chaos or destruction. And then underneath this is weak. It wanted to come out weak. Close and lock the door. Open ears. Yep, there's someone that's gonna come talk to you, Virgo. Chaos or destruction. Someone's in shambles. I feel someone's in shambles. I'm hearing that song by Britney Spears. I'm a slave for you. I'm a slave for you. I heard drug court. Someone might be incarcerated. 
Let's get one Wisdom of the House of the Night cards. Y'all know I love these. Let's see. Listening. <laughs> There's a conversation coming. 23. What does this thing say? It says, Darkness does not always equate to evil. Light does not always bring the good. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because we have to go through the darkness in order to really appreciate the light, right? That's what I feel this is. <laughs> that is what I have for you, my lovelies. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you all so very much, and I will talk to you soon.